Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, the Hut, and welcome back to the Baseball Hut 2, and hopefully you like this video, hit that subscribe, I'm going to talk about the New York Jets, the New York Football Jets, and they had a difficult loss on Monday, on Monday Night Football, 32-19 to the San Francisco 49ers, and then a lot of stuff was sort of discussed, um, one of the things is that people were not too happy that the New York Jets did not fire their coach, Robert Sala, uh, because, quite frankly, he's a lousy coach. And we saw that last year. Even though they lost Aaron Rodgers in the first series, the first game last year, they, they were not a good team, And uh, based on the fact that they weren't well coached. Well, they came out not too uh, fresh during this game. And there's a lot of takeaways that people are sort of going through over the last 24 hours. Some Jets wire USA Today. Five takeaways from the Jets' 32-19 loss to the 49ers. New York Jets finally made their long-awaited 2024 NFL debut. Many will wish they did not. <laughs> that, that goes, that's for sure. Many, many Jets fans, by the way. New York fell in their season opener against the San Francisco 49ers in a lackluster 32-12 final, final. In just about every aspect of the game, game, Gang Green, and they got Gang Green for this. Left something to be desired. With that, here are the things that they take they took away from this. Aaron Rodgers survived. That's right. He was able to get past one one series. It was absolutely not the Aaron Rodgers 2.0 debut that anyone in New York was hoping for, hopeful for. The four-year-old quarterback was a lowly 13 for 21, passing for 167 yards. He had a touchdown interception, which was tipped. <clears throat> taken away. He might rush the pass, but it took some luck to grab that one. Jokes and loss aside, Rodgers made it through an entire game, mostly as he sat out the final few minutes. After the way his first season with the Jets ended, above all else, there's still hope after one game played. At least the Jets still have that. That's absolutely right. Lost in the trenches. When it was on offense or defense, the Jets did not look good in the trenches. On offensive, despite running back Brees Hall scoring the first touchdown of the season, it was not a good showing after that. Defensively, Quinnen Williams was not the was the only defensive lineman with a QB head. Both sacks on 49ers quarterback Brock Prudy came from defensive backs. Most notable, San Francisco running back Jordan Mason had 147 running yards, rushing yards, and a touchdown. Maybe that caused the Jets to take their foot off the gas, but that cannot be the case. Edge was rarely set by the defensive line, making it all too easy for San Francisco. While Hassan Reddick, who is holding out, is not known as a run stopper, this showing bodes well for his efforts to get a new contract. The Jets' defense allows plenty. Hank was so bad. The Jets' defense was terrible. The Niners had eight straight drives, which ended up with points on the board. The Jets' offense did little to help their defense. That is fair to say. But when a team claims to be one of the NFL's defensive units best, they said they were the best of all time last year. That cannot happen, especially against a team that was without their star playmaker, Christian McCaffrey. And McCaffrey might not be playing this week. At the least, Jets fans and head coach Robert Sala will help this punch in the mouth as a wake-up call. You just started the season. You're looking for a wake-up call. You have to play better over the night. You have to play well every night. The run game does not complement. The offensive line play was noted, and the run was specifically affected by that. While Aaron Rodgers' return was not up to par, not establishing a rushing attack never happens and never helps. 49ers have top-tier defense, which is why the Niners have worked their way to the Super Bowl as recently as last season. As Hall of Fame as Rodgers is, that's going to put the entire unit behind the eight ball. This being essentially his first game again, Green made the effort even tougher. At least the Niners are not on the schedule now every week. That doesn't matter at this point. Kudos to running back Brees Hall, at least rushing and one and one touchdown after that drive. It was all downhill. What happened to the source? What happened to source? Um, you know, evidently it was a medical issue after all for Gardner. All's well in source land. Previously, they said it was source Gardner bench that he needed a few minutes to sit out. Something happened that needs to be addressed. According to ESPN broadcast on Monday, Gardner sat down and had nothing to do with a medical issue, which it is. Uh, 
and he's their best defensive player. We know that. And and waving the white flag is another interesting thing. It was a disheartening game. Cherry on top was waving the white flag. Just decided to pull Rogers and Tyrod Taylor finished the game at, at quarterback. It's not the look anyone in New York expected. And that could be a disheartening moment that lingers since the narrative heading into Monday was changing the reputation of this team. The Jets will hope otherwise. Oh boy. And, and we know him from, from the from the Giants. Because he was the Giants quarterback a good portion of last season. And he's terrible. He's a terrible backup. He's not much better than Zach Wilson, by the way. You know, he's not much better. Why they, they signed him as the backup beyond me. And he's bounced around. I saw him enough time. He makes a lot of mistakes. Throws the ball. You know, he's always throwing pick sixes. It's terrible. Doesn't make good decisions. The only thing he's good at is running. Just have him as a running back. Or wide receiver. I, mean, I don't know if he catch the ball, but he's terrible. But uh, we'll see how the Jets do next week. And I'll cover this, I think. Seeing as how, maybe, how many people like this. But this is a baseball channel primarily. But, you know, I like to do... I like to do different things, and, and I was very happy with the other video I did on the New York Giants. But, well, let me know what you think about this video. Of course, please subscribe to Baseball Hut 2, and I'll see you later.